Thanks to Wix for sponsoring this video. Hello everyone and welcome to Art and Design. My name is Thorkit and today we're going to be finishing off the website that we started making in the last video. We're going to be adding a bunch of cool new features including an online art store to sell the artworks uh, from the website. That's going to be really cool and we're also going to be launching the actual website. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Okay, so at the time of this release, the website should be live and available, so you can go ahead and check it out on artanddesign.tv. And what I want to do with this website is to provide a platform for creatives to collaborate, share knowledge and get access to high quality assets and showcase some of your amazing artworks and designs. So basically, when you visit the website, you should find a bunch of cool stuff like brushes and texture packs and templates and layouts and all that sort of stuff. So go ahead and check that out after you've done watching this video, of course. But uh, in the last video, we created the website and we worked mainly on the front page. So today we're going to be finishing off the page, adding more sections, pages, and of course the art store. So let's start by adding another strip on the page below the first one and make it 1080 pixels high. Now I want to change the color of the strip and have it slightly darker than the first strip. Okay, that'll do. Next, I want to add the YouTube logo right over here. This is done in order to reassure the visitor that yes, this is indeed the website that uh, the dude in the YouTube video talked about. So let me just crop it, take away all the empty spaces over here. Um, okay, that should do. So now I'm just going to add a reference to the YouTube channel like so. Okay, cool. Now, the only thing that is missing is a module to display some of the videos from the Art and Design YouTube channel. So let's do that by going in here and adding this thing right here called small slider. Let's just drag and drop this into the page like so. And there you can see this is basically just a display of videos which you can sort of scroll through and, and play the videos directly from the website. I'm just going to click on the settings and kind of change a few things just to sort of get the design synchronized to the rest of the page so that the font is right and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to get rid of the background color by making it transparent like so. And that's pretty much all that I'm going to do for now. I'm just going to stretch out the elements uh, like so with the module and that'll increase the sizes of the thumbnails that are displayed right here. Okay, now we see there's a bit of empty space at the bottom right here. I'm going to fill that in using the logos from the programs that I use on my YouTube channel. So any apps or programs that you'll see on the YouTube channel will have the logos displayed right here. So let's just add the three logos like so. Okay, so we see they all got pasted in a single bundle like that. Just gonna move them around and rearrange them and resize them so that they look right. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So now I wanna group all of these logos together and have them in a single group so that I can move and resize them all at the same time so that they behave like a single object. And the way to do that is simply select all the logos and then we see this button right here. It says group elements. We simply click on that. You can also use the keyboard shortcut, Control G or Command G on Mac. So now that they're all grouped together, we can select the group and then align the group so that it's centered on the page. I'm pretty happy with this strip as it is. I don't want to spend too much time in this video aligning everything so everything is perfectly pixel aligned. So let's move on to the third strip of the page. And it's basically the same story with the other strips, except we're just going to make this one a little bit bigger because we're going to need some room to display all of your artworks. So what I was thinking about doing here was maintain a curated list of artworks created by the art and design community. There's going to be more information about that later. Let's display the artworks on this strip. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to add a repeater module. So a repeater module basically does exactly what the name implies. It repeats. So you design a single item and then you specify how often you want it to repeat. And then Wix will create instances of that item so that any changes in the design will repeat throughout the instances. But if you change the text, it will stay the same. We'll see what I mean in just a bit, but uh, I'm just going to add a title to this section real quick and let's get working on the repeater. 
Okay, so just gonna make sure everything's aligned properly. I'm gonna make this title 80 pixels away from the top of this strip. And then I'm gonna duplicate the title and do that by holding Alt uh, while dragging the title and that creates a copy of it. So just need to change the design a little bit and then add the text. Now the text should sort of capture what this section is all about. Now I'll have more information about this in the future, but for now, let's just focus on setting it up and making it look good. Okay, so I just wanted to sort of give you an idea what these repeater elements can do. They can save you a lot of time if you're maintaining a list or, you know, showing something again and again and again. Um, but the beautiful part about this is that if you change the text in one of these or the image in one of these, uh, that will not repeat throughout the whole thing. It's just the design that gets repeated. And it's really easy to make more. We just click on this button right here, duplicate, and that's pretty much all you need to do. You can rearrange these as you wish, uh, just by dragging within that menu right over there. So a really, really nice functionality if you want to maintain a list of things. I want to tell you about an awesome feature. In the Wix editor, you can add a module to your website that allows you to upload digital images and Wix will turn them into physical product and ship it to your customers. Wix handles the printing, the packaging and the shipping of the product. It's absolutely fantastic. So basically, we just have to set up the module, add a few images, choose which type of product we want these images to be turned into. And we can choose things like t-shirts, pillows, cups, canvas prints, and you know, just name it. You can see the list on the screen right here. So basically Wix does all the heavy lifting for us and you get a cut of the revenue. You can even specify how much you want to sell it for. So Wix will just charge for the base price and you get the rest. So I think that's just absolutely fantastic that you can pretty much set that up with a click of a few buttons. So I think it's time to plug the Wix referral code at this point. So if you want to try out Wix for yourself and you want to support the channel while you're at it, uh, then please use the link shown on the screen uh, right over there to sign up for a Wix account. Now, the last major functionality that needs to be added to the website right now is a blog section. And now, bear with me. I'm not talking about, you know, blogging about my life and uh, what I'm doing and uh, what food I'm eating or stuff like that. No, no, no. So I want to use the blog functionality. Uh, and what I'm going to use it for is basically whenever there's a new video, I'm going to release a blog post that is tied to that video. So. If there's anything that I'm going to be showing, any, any brush that I'm going to be using or any texture library that I'm going to be working with, then I'll link to that blog post that is tied to that video. Okay, so this is going to be it for this video. Uh, there's so much more to talk about uh, with regards to Wix. I'll probably have to do a whole series about it uh, in order to cover everything in the system. But I think this is pretty much what I want to say in this video. On that note, I think it's time to thank Wix for sponsoring this video. These videos have been quite an undertaking, mainly because of my OCD. I just want to create a website that stands on its own. And yeah, Wix has succeeded in making this a joyful experience. Working with the Wix editor was just like working with any other design tool that I'm used to. And what I like about the Wix platform is that you can go from zero, just an idea, to having a domain name, an email address, and a fully functional website in a matter of you know, a few hours. If you spend more time on it, of course, it'll get better and better and better. If you're just getting started with website design, you can use the Wix Artificial Design Intelligence or ADI editor to set up your website. If you're ready to dive in and customize the website even further, then you can switch to the Wix editor, which grants you access to way more options and to customize your website like we've been doing in this video. And if you're comfortable with coding, well, then you can take advantage of the Wix coding uh, and the programming options and uh, use that in conjunction with a database functionality as well. Now, I might cover that in a future video if there's enough interest for it. Uh, the Wix plans are all reasonably priced and even include a custom domain name. But you can start building your website today for free at wix.com slash go slash art and design. So at this point, artanddesign.tv should be published and available online. I'll be continuously working on it, updating it and adding new stuff to it. And I really hope that this page can be something that we can all use to learn from each other, to collaborate and empower each other to achieve our best. So 
I hope that you enjoy uh, using it as much as I did making it. And on that note, I want to thank you all very much for watching. If you like this video, then please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe and click the bell icon if you want to get notified when a new video is released on the channel. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Have an awesome day. Bye bye.